Hello and welcome to a new video about my load saddle project. Now that I have some sort of scale, I want to calibrate it. Right? Uh, how to calibrate it? Well, there are things, but I want to show you how it is working. Right now, I have not set any calibration factor or something like this. It's just the scaling. Right? It's just the scaling. So actually what you need, you need something with a known weight. So I'm using here a, a kitchen scale and I will put something on this kitchen scale. I know this kitchen scale is almost accurate and I will use here this little bottle of, of, of rum. Unfortunately the rum uh, vaporized uh, over the years and so I am placing this now here and see 1118 grams. Okay, 1118. This is the weight of this, of this bottle. Pretty heavy. Now I put it on here and see what is the reason, uh, what is the reading. <laughs> All right. It jumps, it jumps 1118 grams. Yeah. And here I'm reading, what is, what is this? One, one, two, seven, nine, five, and then eight, eight, nine, nine, eight, nine, nine, eight. Ah, let's say eighty-five. Huh? So here and here, I divide this this one thousand one hundred. What was the weight? Turned off. It is 1118. Simply a, a simple division. All right? A simple division. Yeah. Camera big. Zack. A simple division. And the result is. 1144.53 one well, let's try it. let's try it so actually what i will do is i will simply call here load cell set cal factor and this was 1144.53 now this is the scaling now i will i'm going to upload this to my arduino and then actually it should already work starting a blow cell done all right, put this on, 1,100, yeah, 1,118, fast, yeah. it's calibrated with this thing, and now let's see how much weight, I need other things, I need other things, here, yeah, this bottle. This is water inside because I am always using this bottle here for my soldering. Uh, how how much weight is this bottle? Seven hundred forty-seven. Seven hundred forty-seven. Put it on on my scale. Seven hundred forty-seven. <laughs> All right. So this worked. How much is my whoop, my measurement device? 524, 524, put it on here, 524, <laughs> this is really working, this is really working, so my load cell is really working, as at least as accurate, here, my cutter, how many grams, 78, and here, 78, 
All right. So I think we have really managed to do to produce a, a weight, a, a, a scale. Put this away. Here, yeah, this is my scale now. All right. But now I'm eager to know how accurate this is. So I will put here. I will restart again so that maybe a, a, a button with tar would be nice. Restart again. Start up load cell. All right. Okay. Now we level. And now I will add a single drop of water. Let's see. Bing. Zero dot zero three four. Whoa, a single drop of water. It could manage to read a single a second one. Two drops. Zero dot zero six. This is astonishingly accurate. Can measure water drops. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten water drop drops have a weight of around zero dot thirty three thirty four grams. Three hundred forty milligrams. This is freaking accurate. This is working pretty well. This is working much better than I would have expected. So this is something I wonder if this is only working with the 5 volts from the Arduino or if it's also equally accurate if I'm using only 3 to 3 volts. And this is something we're going to find out. Yeah? Because next time I think I will use an ESP with 3 to 3 volt logic. Then I have to power supply also this bridge, this Wheatstone bridge with 3 to 3 volts. And let's see, you know, the less the power supply, the less the, the, the voltage difference and the more noise, the, 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 the more difficult this will be. We'll see. Yeah, next time we try, we try exactly the same thing here, but with an ESP. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.